What is going on guys, it's your boy GS, welcome back for yet another NCAA 14 online ranked match and today You see I'm going up against somebody named Wigblue22 <clears throat> He has Ball State, I go ahead and grab Tucky Wildcats Which should be a nice even matchup I'll just pay attention to my opponent, right? So, uh, he has Ball first and Kentucky has a backup quarterback with like 87 speed or something like that So the guy is really fast so I'm definitely looking forward to, you know, playing with somebody with some speed and some read options, being able to run outside the pocket, you know, all of that fun stuff. So <clears throat> to begin the game very early, hits me with a play action over the top and just gashes me for a touchdown. Ball State has two receivers. Sneed is one of them with like 93, 94 speed. My cornerbacks, unfortunately, don't have good press, don't have good speed. So he's able to just run right by me. So... Uh, you know, got to pay attention to that. Uh, so we get the ball first. We go to the read option. He was on the DE. I seen that he stood up and he didn't rush in for the running back, but I didn't figure he would play that so well. He kind of played that as if the computer played it. So maybe he didn't even allow himself to do that. Maybe he let the computer do it. But nonetheless, we go to the trusty Odell route and get ourselves the first down right here. Nice little swing route trying to hit that outside. And we get good six yards uh, right here. Same place at the opposite side. Keep going, keep going. Oh, my goodness. The shoestring tackle ends up getting us third and two right here. We roll outside the pocket, and we throw, woof, thankfully, a strike right over there to the receiver. Looked like it could have been picked off, but uh, right here, uh, inside run to play. Look at George breaking tackles because that man is just so strong, though. And we end up tying up the game with a beautiful run on the inside. So now it's 7-7. Seven seven. Our opponent has the ball again. And, of course, we have the task of, you know, trying to, he has the same thing, you know, trying to play defense with not such a great defense. So, uh, you know, we got to try and make plays, you know, send pressure, and that's exactly what we're trying to do. Send some outside pressure right there. Third and nine, ends up picking up a first down right there. Runs out of bounds, might have even had more if he uh, was able to stay in bounds. Right there, swatted pass right there, didn't even go for the interception, but right there, it's a fan bell, but he ends up recovering. Third and 17. He goes over, and our cornerback has enough awareness to turn around and swat that down, which was huge. On fourth down, we just swat that down. We don't want to take any chances. And that's it. My opponent wanted no more. He just quits. Seven and seven, and he, he quit. That was it. <laughs> I was like, what the hell happened? Why would he quit? I'm checking to see if maybe I'm getting kicked offline or whatever, but no, my opponent just quit. So I'm like, okay, okay, now we got to scratch this and get ourselves some more Kentucky gameplay. So... Uh, we go ahead and get ourselves another game. And the funny thing is that once we leave this, immediately we go into another game. We try to get some more Kentucky gameplay. And we end up getting matched up with the same guy. Look at his DNF. is so damn high. And I'm like, oh, okay. It's the same guy. So I guess it's a rematch. So we'll go Ball State Cardinals. And we end up, we'll go back to Kentucky. And uh, let's do it again. <laughs> let's. Let's play the exact same guy with the exact same matchup. Let's just do it again. Why not, right? So, to begin the game, he has ball first again. So, I just think that's crazy to get matched up with the exact same guy back-to-back -back like that. So, uh, this time he starts off with a run this time. Nice little outside run. Gets it seven yards. Uh, second time he tried it. No, no, no. We shut that down for a loss of four. Third and seven. He goes to the outside on the right side. And uh, he picks up a first down. Uh, play action. He rolls deep outside the pocket. And I'm sorry, son, but don't test the user. He is so disrespectful. Somebody, please send this man a link to my channel and let him know. Do not throw the ball my way. And trust me, you definitely want to take his gamer tag and send him a message. Because he's going to send me a message. And we possibly need to play in the future. Just pay attention, my friends. Pay attention. I don't always send messages, but when I do, I send it to bumps like this. So we're up 7-0, and again another user interception because this man keeps throwing at me so disrespectfully. And we end up scoring a touchdown. Uh, it gets called back due to uh, clipping. No, nope, we would have, um, but he quits right there. He, he quit again. <laughs> second time I played the guy, second time he just quits, and I'm like, yo, what is... What is up with this guy? Why does he just quit like that? Only down a possession or two. Like the guy has no faith in anything. He just quits. So, I end up sending this man a message. Again. 
<laughs> well, this is the first time I'm actually, excuse me, sending him a message. I sent him a message, you know, because DNF is like 40% in all those losses. I'm like, Jesus, dude, you quit way too much. So I sent him a message saying only games you, you finish are the games you win, huh? Because if you're down, you just quit, like, immediately. You don't even give it a shot. If you're down, you don't even think about trying to come back or playing some good defense. You, you just quit. <laughs> so, <clears throat> excuse me. I said the only games you finish are the ones you win, huh? And then he ends up sending me a message in the next Kentucky gameplay that I'm going to post tomorrow for you guys. Uh, Kentucky versus Missouri. Because, you know, anybody looking for a Kentucky gameplay, I got to give you guys the full gameplay, which I'm going to go ahead and, and uh, show you guys tomorrow. So I send him a message. The very next game, I finally get both my victories because that guy quit. I get matched up against this guy. He goes with Mizzou. And I go up. I get Kentucky again. So I get ready to load up, you know, and... This is when he sends me an interesting message. A message that, uh, it's nice. <laughs> He's like, you know, NCAA is fluky, and I'll find you for Madden. Oh, this man is challenging me to Madden already. The NCAA is just too fluky, bucko. I will see you for Madden. So I'm like, oh, please, do. Please make sure you find me for Madden so we can go ahead and get a Madden gameplay in. So I'm... Um, I just thought that was very, very interesting. And uh, why did I back out and show this scene again? I don't know. But I thought that was very, very interesting. You know, the guy quit. I got matched up with the guy twice. Back to back. And I thought that was uh, something different. I, I don't think I've ever got matched up with somebody back to back consecutively. Which I thought was weird. But nonetheless, uh, tomorrow, I will bring you guys this gameplay right here. Kentucky versus uh, Missouri. As you guys know, Madden is right around the corner. It's coming out. I don't know if you guys are still interested in me playing NCAA. I would love in the comment section if you guys would like me to continue to post NCAA every now and then. Maybe sprinkle in, you know, three, four times a week. Uh, nonetheless, you know, I would love to know what, you know, what you guys' interests are. But, uh, yeah, because Madden is, is almost here. You know, the uh, release, the three-day, the season ticket is, is, oh, my God, it's almost here. And I just want to know from you guys how much interest... You guys have me still posting NCAA games. So, uh, again, this channel has always been a democracy, never a dictatorship. I would always post the majority of whatever it is you guys want to see. So, um, I don't know why I posted, I edit this in twice. But nonetheless, he gave me more time to talk and ask you guys a question. So, <clears throat> please leave in the comment section if you guys just want Strictly Madden. Once NBA comes out, I will be doing NBA and Madden. Do you guys want NCAA, Madden, and NBA? You know, let me know in the comment section. Because there's a lot of games coming out this fall, and I'm excited. And I just want to know what type of schedule I should have for you guys. So, leave it in the comment section. This gameplay will be coming out tomorrow. I'm out. Peace. Give it to me, baby.